Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. I'm going to try something just a little bit different, at least different for me um, and different than I've, than I've seen, uh, is to call this a, the Venus sign reading. You can still check your sun, moon, and rising, definitely to get more in depth, but I think for a love reading, you know, monthly love reading, let's do the what Venus has to say. Um, so a good site I found that's free, if you don't know what your Venus, the sign in Venus is for you, is astrocharts.com or any site that you just plug in your information, your birth date. Um, if you know the time of your birth date, that's gr uh, great. If not, I think we could still get it. But then you can get your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And so I'm focusing on my intention, my prayers that I set are um, that we're going to do your Venus signs. And, and then any additional information will come from your other, you know, sun, moon, and rising. So we're going to get started, and the first one we're going to do, the first one I'm going to do is, um, is Leo. So let's see what Venus has to say for all the Leos, the fire, the fiery Leos out there. Um, the first card that I'm going to pick, we're going to read a little from the book because I really like what it has to say, is Affirmations for the Everyday Goddess. And it's a collector's edition, and the author is Pamela Wells. They're very beautiful cards. They were given to me by a friend. Thank you so much, Danielle. Um, and I just want to see, I'm gonna, we're going to get one message from Venus of what she wants us to think about Leos. What does she want Leos to think about? Venus, the goddess of love. There she is. There's the one. Okay. The Hanged One, or The Hanged Man. Did you see the picture? Let's get a little closer. Beautiful picture. Hanging, and it almost looks like, I don't know, watery in nature with fish. Yeah, kind of upside down, like underneath the water. It's beautiful. So your emotions. Hanging, a get hanging into your emotions. Understanding your emotions. Taking a pause. So you can understand who you really are and what your emotions are telling you. My sacrifice will strengthen my devotion to the divine and deepen my compassion for all beings. So if you feel that you've been sacrificing a little bit in your life, sacrificing your, um, yourself for the sake of others, sacrificing your own emotions um, because of someone else, well... You know, you could do that, but but I feel only for so long. We don't want to be suspended too long, but hanging there and understanding and, and grasping what's really going on and taking a pause is really important. And the little prayer or little for that one is, if I could find it on here, eluding me. What can I do to make the world a better place? So possibly the goddess wants us to think about that. It is through enduring personal sacrifice and surrendering your ego's ambitions that faith is attained. Your will is surrendered and becomes aligned to the will of God. The goal is to return to your authentic nature and recreate yourself in the image of your highest potential. You must be willing to sacrifice what, who, what you are for what you can become. The important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could become. And that was um, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I hope so. Close. We can do no great things, only small things with great love, Mother Teresa. You are in your highest potential are needed in this world. It is you who must decide if higher awareness and spiritual growth is worth the personal sacrifice. So you're at a point now. You're like, okay, you know better, right? You're aware. Your eyes are open. Leo's and you just, it's time to make a decision because you know once you make that decision and, you know, I'm hoping you decide to evolve to a higher place that some things are going to be left behind. Some people are possibly going to be left behind. You are becoming a different person. 
sometimes that can be a little scary, but don't let that hold you back because beautiful things are awaiting you. That, that message just came through. Just, I don't know if you're reading there. At some point in your life, you may realize that success in the physical world will feed your ego's ambitions, but not your emerging need to reconnect with God, the universe, all that is. Once you become aware of the possibility of achieving your highest potential through love for God, you must become empty and ready to receive. By surrendering to God's will, you will surrender your need to control the external world. By embracing something bigger than yourself, you release your belief in a limited self. By feeling compassion for all beings and understanding the power of co-creation, your awareness moves from yourself to others. Many times the will of God becomes a goal after you have, pos have positively experienced the results of letting go of your e egoic ambitions or having negative experiences as a result of failing. In either situation, the events that unfold in your life may turn out to be more in alignment with your authentic nature. Those ex these experiences bring you even closer to reaching your highest potential through your unique talents and intelligence. Okay, so I would say it's time to reach your potential. It's time to go after what you want in life and in love. It's time for you to take what you've learned from the past and let, it, let the rest go. And as well as these readings, take what resonates with you and let the rest go. Find your own truth but you are evolving and it is a pivotal time in your existence right now. It really is a pivotal time. So we're going to get, we're going to pull some cards. We'll put her over, put her over here so she doesn't burn the, huh? burn on the candle. Okay. I'm going to pull from the energy Oracle card deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. And we're just going to get some messages from Venus about your love life, about, um, where this journey of love is taking you, whatever comes out. Okay. So we will take this card first. Okay. Patience. Being patient with yourself during this time, being patient with others during this time. You know what's interesting? You see a little closer. I think it says 10 10 on that card. I see 10 10 uh, sometimes. So if you're seeing numbers and you're seeing repeated numbers, that's a sign for you for. On, your, on this journey um, that you're taking. That's a sign for you. So pay attention to those signs. If, if that's, I feel a lot of you are very connected right now and you're, if you're allowing it and allowing yourself to receive the information from the universe, from God, you are getting these signs and you're seeing them everywhere. So pay attention to those. Be patient and, and, and take time to make choices and decisions. You know, you're kind of, it's telling you to, to hang out for a little bit to make sure that you know and when you're ready, you'll know because you'll feel inspired. Now, the appreciation card came out you know, upside down. So what that is telling me is that there might be a little bit block in allowing the good, everything, the abundance of love and everything that you want to come in your life because you're having a hard time. You know, I feel like some of you, this may not be all of you, but some of you have had a hard road here. Um, I know I have. And, and my Venus is in Leo, and, and I know that I can connect with this, you know, with this particular message is it, um, I've gotten through this point, but it's very hard sometimes when you keep attracting the same kind of energy or being disappointed. It's not really necessarily their fault. Maybe it is their fault. Maybe they did something, but it just isn't working out, right? And so it's hard to like see and appreciate the little small things, even the little steps in love or, the, or something sweet that someone does for you, even if they're not the person that you know you're meant to be with, but just anything, appreciate anything. Loving yourself is what I feel is really important here. And it, it the journey to self-love is a beautiful journey and I've taken it and I love myself and I honor myself and I'm truthful with myself and I appreciate the love that the universe has for me, even in the little things that I have and the little things that I get to experience. And so once I got to that point, it's like, and I chose myself and I let go of, uh, of situations that didn't serve me then everything opened up for me and it's just beautiful. So appreciate the little things because what's behind you is a blossoming abundance and they're all ready to bloom. If you could just be a little more patient with it, love is coming. The seventh chakra connection. So um, working on the connection that you have with the universe, the connection that you have with God, with the creative energy that all of it, of all that is, is of sitting with yourself and this hanged, 
kind of position in, in meditation um, and just going within, just shutting your eyes for a few minutes and going within and, and connecting and connecting to the truth of who you are and the source within you to get your answers. There we, another, okay, so another card for rest and rejuvenation, meditation, walking in nature. Sometimes meditation to me is vacuuming the house. Um, whatever it is for you to just have a little silent time, you know, even if it's five, 10 minutes, you know, it'd be great if you do 15 minutes or 20 minutes every day, but taking time for yourself, caring about yourself, appreciating yourself, being patient with, you know, what's going on around you because it's, it's coming, but it's time for you to take care of you and, and connect. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's a 10 completion, right? Completion of of not moving forward the way that you want to completion of understanding that everything happens for a reason reason completion of knowing that now you need to love yourself and look the world so the world card came out that is major endings major completion in your life so you've come to this point where you know the world is literally in your hands you've made it this far you've you're, you're connecting, it, you know, and if you haven't made it that far, this is where you're going. So just this is the line to follow. Be patient with yourself. Appreciate everything, even the little things. Love yourself. Connect with the universe. Connect with God. Go inside to find your personal truth, and the world is yours. You've, you've come far on this journey. Leos and Venus want you to know the world is yours. No more, I hear, no more being tied up. This is changing. Fives are change. No more feeling like you're tied up. No more of that. So you now know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> no one or nothing has hold over you. You have control. So if you're feeling tied up and constricted and strained, that's self-imposed. It's self-imposed. It's time to go within and change that. You can untie yourself very easily and move on to what you've always wanted. It's time to take action. This is like the chariot energy. It's time to take action. It's time to move. I see this a couple different scenarios, so let, it'll resonate maybe with people in different ways or maybe both ways. To me, that's the... the the dark and the light within us. And it's like the light is like, come on, I've got this. I know you're a part of me. And the dark's like, all right, yeah, I guess I am. Let's let's, let's do this together. <laughs> like a little slower, but the light is like, come on, follow me, come on. So that's you coming into the divine feminine, divine masculine within you coming together to for this beautiful self-love. But also in other cases, aid is manifestation. You're manifesting what you want. It's time to take action, that inspired action that comes from within after you've sat with yourself and hung out with yourself for a moment and seen things, looked at things from a different perspective, from spirit's perspective. That's what I'm hearing. See it from spirit's perspective. Take yourself out of the 3D, the physical world, for a moment in your mind, in your imagination, close your eyes. What do you think the infinite intelligence would say? Your higher self. Connect with your higher self. Ask, and it's time to take action and go after your dreams. Okay? Some of you might be feeling hostilities around you, people pressuring you. What are you going to do? Oh, you should be with this person. You should be with that person. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. And you like, oh, I have my guard up. I don't know. I, I just, I have my guard up still. I, you know, or someone in your life that you want to be with has their guard up. And it might just be because... I feel like it's not you. If this is if this is your partner that you're feeling this is side or the person that you know you're meant to be with, whether you're physically with them yet or not, like they're feeling like defensive. Someone's feeling defensive here in this love situation. So if it's you, my advice for you would be to drop the sword and really it's about making a choice to choose yourself and you don't have to be defensive anymore because remember, you're not tied up. You're not you don't have to do things just because other people are doing them or say you should or it's their belief systems that are holding them there. You, you have the power to choose for yourself. You have free will and you have the power to choose for yourself. So it's time to let go of those hostilities and um, 
And if it is around your partner or your partner's being that way, just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them and ask them what's going on if you are in contact. And if you're not, I just energetically send your future soulmate, your twin flame, your divine partner, love in releasing that hostile. It's, there's some hostilities around and the swords just need to be dropped. Yes, because the decision would be it's time to enjoy community. And look, look, I just want to point this out because I follow numbers. So fives are change, major completion, cycles are ending to new beginnings with the world. Now we've got a seven here and we've got a seven here. And so that to me, that's angelic guidance, like in manifesting eights, like is, is they're with you and it's time to make decisions for yourself. What makes you happy? Be with the people that make you happy. Surround yourself around people who understand what unconditional love is and know what it means to love yourself and to invite this love in and allow yourself to receive. Because it's important for us to receive as well. Not just give, give, give. We have to allow ourselves to receive. The angel of strength is popping up with another change, another five. So, you know, you have the inner strength. You have the resources in, inside. To move forward on your path. To choose yourself. Let's see what get some more cards on where this is leading on this path. Feel a lot of angelic guidance. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, whether you're the male, if you're the male, this would be you. I am feeling a, a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a male, but the masculine energy is thinking. The masculine energy has is getting his thoughts clear, and it's you know he has the crystal in his hand. You could maybe think of that as a diamond. You know, uh, possibly if if marriage might be coming that might be significant but he's seeing clearly now he's seeing the truth about himself and that's this is the ending of cycles for the masculine in um within this reading whether it be your partner or yourself it's you know making sure that that everything is clear ending the cycles that aren't serving him because he wants to be clear on his in, in, in open in his heart and clear in his mind and a lot of the masculine or this particular energy coming through has been really bogged down in his mind, has been really clustered with a lot of, you know, feelings like these hostilities and feeling tied up and, and, and you know, kind of just in suspension, you know, kind of the feeling of the reading. So, or this could be you, you could be like the, the masculine part of you just kind of thinking and, and just go on your inner strength and go within. This came in, you know, I don't always read upside, you know, reversals, but it's the end of the endings here. Okay, before, prior, this masculine energy, whether it be you or the other person, was just, didn't see what he really had. Didn't, didn't see the truth of who he really is, how abundant he really is, and how much, I mean, it's like he was living in the darkness of his own thoughts and not seeing this golden castle and golden path right outside the door. So it's letting go and dropping that. So no more, I'm seeing my value now. I'm seeing who I am, I'm clear about it. I know what I want now and I'm gonna go after it. I'm gonna go after what I want. Walking away, endings walking away. Walking away from the past, walking away from lack, walking away from fears. Moving into stability, strength. That's where the strength card comes in again. Being, feeling balanced, feeling strong. And look, the sword is down. I manifested this, the sword is down. So he's dropping his defenses. Or you are, and it's your masculine side. You know, you're dropping your defensive. If you're, if you're the feminine watching and you feel like you're that the masculine side of you has figured it out and now you're you're coming into your feminine where you're going to be stable it's you're moving into stability with love because you're walking away you're choosing yourself you're ending patterns and cycles and you're walking away oh and look at look at who's with you leo the angel of love is with you 
healing you, loving you, helping you understand the things that have gone on in your life and, and where you want to go next so you can make this decision and come out of, and you're, you're looking at things from a different perspective because you're loving, your, you're, you're on this journey of self-love, which is leading to romantic love. When we love ourselves and take time to nurture ourselves and care for ourselves, we bring in this man or this woman, you know, to this appreciative woman and this wonderful, beautiful man who took the time to go within. The, you know, feminine, masculine, however you want to look at it, but that's how I'm seeing it, is you actually, the masculine is coming to the point where he's appreciating himself and therefore appreciating the feminine. And the feminine is seeing, okay, this is my journey of self-love. I love myself. I invite my masculine in. I feel like just oh, one more card from this deck wants to come out. I won't move on to a different deck, but there's something else left in here. This is, this is beautiful. Everyone taking care of themselves. There, here we go. The angel of balance is coming in to balance everything else. You have around your safety, security, um, in this 3D world, in the material world, in your health, in your vitality. You're surrounded with the angel of balance and the angel of love. So allow them to help you. And Archangel Michael for strength and endurance. I mean, they're all here helping you. You have a lot of angelic guidance with you. The goddess of the moon looking at your um, hopes and your fears and seeing the truth. Cutting through illusions. Being authentic with yourself and with others. Into your personal power. And look, another 10. The ending, a lot of endings of cycles, a lot of choices and decisions to be made in it. You're making the right decisions by walking away from what doesn't serve you, coming into your personal power, your strength, you know, Archangel, I mean, you've got a lot of angels around you, you know, angel of strength here, angel of balance, angel of love, you know, we've got archangels here, so you're, you're being, we have, uh, who's, who's this, Archangel Uriel, I mean, you're just really surrounded by spirit right now, so use that to your advantage, and come into your personal power and your confidence and go after what you want because it's time for that. It's time for you to choose you and end the cycles and move on. No more fear. You're surrounded, surround yourself by people that empower you and, and make you feel good. And it's a beautiful journey. It's a beautiful journey. So we're gonna move here. Get done with these, we'll put them over here. Um, the Power of Love, Activation Cards by James Van Todd. And I wanted to pull these in a little bit different way than I have been doing. I'm going to get the energy around um, either a person that you are with and you just want to know a little bit about them on this love journey, your partner now, your um, partner that you know is coming in, your soulmate, twin flame, divine partner um, that you may not be in physical yet. And then it may be someone that you know in physical, but you're not really sure the direction it's going and what they're thinking about. So we're just going to ask Spirit, what is the other person going through right now? What are they experiencing right now? What are they working through? They're working on expressing themselves, being authentic. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Like I said, the thinking man it goes back to the thinking man, right? So I feel like this is the masculine energy, whether it be female or male, it doesn't matter, but the masculine part of the relationship, person in the relationship, is transforming their thoughts into thoughts that serve them better. And they're, they're transforming belief systems that were old and outdated into current ones that serve them well. And they're ready to show you. And, and come forward with this love. Oh, and look, there we go. The past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Yes, releasing the past. They are working very hard. You know, you all know, because we've all been through stuff, so it's very difficult to release the past sometimes. And sometimes you think you have, and you really haven't. So it's really important to kind of go through the list and look at those types of things and those people and to really release them. 
and thank them for their time, whether it be energetically or you actually physically thank them or write them a letter and you can send it or burn it, whatever you want to do, but let the past be the past. So he's working on releasing and he's manifesting his what he wants and he's figuring out how to express himself to you or herself to you. They're just working on expression and releasing the past. Okay. How, currently, what does this other person, how does this other person feel about this Leo, about the person watching this video? How do they feel about them? What do they, when they think about you, what are they thinking about? What, what's on their mind? What do they think about you? Respect. They respect you. They respect the fact that you work so hard to get to where you're at and that you deserve the best and that's why they're working so hard on themselves. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love and they know that you're different and they know that you're unique and they know that you deserve the best and that you are their queen, their goddess, the, the empress and they respect you. They have a lot of respect for you. And so that's how they feel when they think of you. And they want to be the best version of themselves for you is what I'm hearing. They so they so being patient, like we, we know, and, and just know that they're respecting you. What what's the what's a message that they would like to give um, to the Leo's watching this? That's a lot of messages. Freedom. They see freedom in having a relationship with you. They see themselves, they see themselves freeing themselves so they can be with you. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So they know that they have a responsibility to come forward with something, an offer that is good for you. So they really are working on that. I keep hearing this message. Whoever is listening to this, the other person, it might be you, but and if it's you and you're resonating with this side, then great. Do it that. Whatever you're doing, it is it is the right thing to do. Just follow your inspiration and have compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So loving yourself. I feel that both parties here, whether together yet or not, are really working on loving themselves, honoring themselves. The, the relationship feels freeing feels like this is my ultimate abundance. I'm working really hard to release the past and learning how to express myself, taking responsibility for my own actions, respecting you, and being compassionate. So it's a very beautiful union, but there's still some things that need to be worked out. And that last card there is the energy of, excuse me, I've got to pick it up, of the two of you and what you need bring to the table, what you can focus on. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely, lovingly embrace new situations. So like the thinking man, time to get out of your head, get into your heart, be spontaneous, go with the flow, you know, experience different things. Maybe a different type of person is coming in for you or looking at your relationship from a different perspective, bringing back the spice, the spontaneity, the sexiness bringing all that back. Wonderful. So we are going to move now to, so that's, I, I just, if it was me and what I'm getting channel advice from, I guess, me and source would be have fun, have more fun, you know, be flirtatious, um, you know, dress in a way that makes you feel sensuous and and, and sensual because that's what Venus is all about. Be spontaneous with that and leave the past behind because you're free to be whoever you want. So that is the truth. We're going to pull a couple from the Romance Angel Oracle cards to see what's coming in for romance in the near future. This is for February 2019. What's coming in for February here as far as that goes? Scorpio. Getting some clippers, but that's what I'm coming out. In Leo, February. Mm -hmm. I, I like sense fire. Hot. Well, we're going to 
take that one for sure. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That one just flew out and stood out to me. So it goes back to loving yourself first. But what I'm feeling, what the message is coming in, is um, that fire, that hot, that love, that passion, that I just everything that you want. You know, but it stems from loving yourself first, but bringing all of that in. Well, there seems to be a lot coming in, so we're just going to, uh, and maybe this may be because there's such a wide variety of you, or this could be all for all of you or one of you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you're the romantic feelings that you feel now for someone that's in your life are real. So if you have someone in your life, or you're feeling like, wow, I really think this is it. They're real. So it's worth exploring those relationships. And exploring romantic relationships, if you're not with the person, would be connecting with them energetically and knowing that, that when that person comes in and you're feeling that romantic spark and you feel that little like, ooh, I kind of like them, you know, explore that. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So really work on releasing the past if that's if the message is for you and it, and it might be the message of your other person as well but just really releasing the past because everyone did the best they can they played the part perfectly as we wanted them to and you know learn what you can from it and let the rest go be playful have fun like we said spontaneous be playful yeah Get the romance back in your life. Start being playful and spontaneous again. And if, that, if that's what you want to invite in and have fun and be romantic and flirtatious, like, come here, teenager. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Bring that in. And passion. Allow your heart to see and soul to sing with joy. So this is all coming for you. Playfulness, passion, romantic feelings. You know, you're forgiving and learning. There's so much healing going on and so much passion coming in for you, Leos. I'm so excited for you. And we have one more card, an oracle card we're going to read from the book from the Magical Unicorns here. Adoring Virtue. Those were the romance angels before. But wow, there's a lot of passion coming from you. And really all it takes is releasing the past and knowing who you really are and going after what you want. That's really the key. Loving yourself first. And then you invite that passionate love in. Look at how, I mean, that's sexy. Passionate in. Look at that. Oh, yes. Come kiss me. Come kiss me. I mean, wow, please bring the passion in. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's a message from the magical unicorns? Venus speaks to me. She really speaks to me. Oh, very soon. What you're asking about will happen soon in a very happy way. Very soon, very soon. Let's just read it for fun. This card wants you to know that your prayers are coming true very soon. There's no need to hurry or rush, and there's definitely no need to worry. After all, worry can slow down your wishes. Your desires are coming true in what's known as divine timing. That means that they're happening at exactly the perfect time for everyone involved. All the pieces of the puzzle are falling into place in just the right way. You'll be very pleased with the results. This card asks you to keep believing and not to give up hope. As you're waiting, put your energy into taking positive action to help your prayers along. For instance, if you get a strong feeling to do something like reading a book, take a class, or writing something, it's important that you do so. You've created your own luck because of your strong faith, your positive thoughts, and your willingness to do the work that's needed to make your dreams come true. Congratulations. It's going to happen very soon. So, and, and if we were talking about love and relationships, if you feel inspired to reach out to someone, I would say reach out to them. Or someone will be reaching out to you very soon. Please comment below how this resonates with you, and I will be um, looking forward to seeing how February unfolds and how this year unfolds. And allow Venus to guide you with all her love and sensuality. Thank you so much. Please um, subscribe, like, share with someone else that you think. And if you feel like listening to your sun, moon, or rising, go right ahead. And I'll see you very soon.